Hi, Sam Via here. How do you create a sweeping side fringe? Really simple. Now sometimes your fringe can be, or your bangs, can be so short. What's really important is to understand, in order for something to sweep to the side, you need length. If it's short like this, Ariel, then what you want to do is you want to make sure you bevel it under. You can see another video on how do you create a full fringe. Right now, we've done that. We've gone through and beveled everything under. Now it's all about creating the direction you want the hair to move. So our tool of choice is going to be a thermal brush. The next tool of choice that we're going to work with is obviously product. We have to understand product is not an option, it's a necessity. That's what we use to create a full fringe. Our Redken Iron Shape 11. Now, what I'm going to instruct Ariel to do is you're going to take your thermal round brush. We're simply going to come through, we're going to take vertical slices. Each vertical slice wants you to place your blow dryer down so you have some control. Take your vertical slice, your brush is pointed up vertically, place the hair in the brush and simply apply your blow dryer, spin and roll the direction you want the hair to move. I'm going to hand that to Ariel, then we're going to come back to the blow dryer. Now if you notice when Ariel's working, she's going to place the blow dryer down and she's going to take her section. When you work with a dryer, let's make sure that it's not necessary to have it on high heat. Go ahead and take your first section, Ariel. So notice how she's taking a vertical slice. A lot of times when we want to blow dry a side sweeping fringe, we immediately start blow drying everything to the side. When you do that, what happens is you start to get the hair to flip up. Remember, blow dry under first, now work on your direction. Now Ariel's going to pick up her blow dryer. She's going to go through and she's going to come through. Now notice how she's got her brush placed. Now she comes through with her dryer and she places her heat. Working with a concentrator is very, very important. A nozzle. Reason being it controls the flow of air. A lot of times if you're not working with a concentrator, what happens is the flow of air is wider. Now you're blow drying and making flyaways, creating frizz. That's really critical. Next vertical slice. Notice how she's taking small vertical slices. The slices could be dependent upon the density of hair that you have. So the thicker the hair, the smaller the slice. The finer the hair, the larger the slice. Great job, Ariel. So now, what are we working on? For, we worked on direction, side sweeping. What do we do first? Full fringe first to get the bevel. Get it to move under. That's what we mean by bevel. Next, working with direction. Great job, Ariel. The type of brush we're working is a thermal brush. Using a thermal brush because it conducts more heat. If I use a boar bristle brush, I'm going to use that for medium to coarse hair. Now, let's take a look and see what we created. Look how that fringe was full down in one direction, but now as I sweep through this, look how that fringe automatically starts to move to the side. Once again, Sam Via here with a very simple trick for you to create a side sweeping fringe.